Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at my Iron Man 2 action figure collection from the Iron Man 2 movie. Uh, these were the toys that you were able to get uh, back in 2008. I think that's when the movie came out. Uh, this was the 3 and 3 quarter inch line of toys that you could get for Iron Man 2. Uh, these are the only ones that I got because really I only wanted the ones from the movie. Um, I unfortunately was unable to pick up the Mark 1 and the Mark 2, so instead I picked up War Machine and the comic book version of the Mark 1 suit of armor because um, I could not find the Mark 1 movie figures or the Mark 2 movie figures anywhere in stores. So since the Mark 2 essentially became the War Machine, I bought the War Machine and just treated that as the Mark 2, and the Mark 1. I just kind of bought since, you know, it was the closest thing I could find to a Mark 1 figure. And, um, you know, I really like the uh, comic book version of the Mark 1 suit, so that's why I got that. But yeah, we're going to be looking at these figures individually and seeing how cool they are. So we're going to start off with the Mark 1 and work our way all the way to the Mark 6. So here we go. Alright, so here we have the comic book version of the Mark 1 suit of armor here in figure form. And as you can see, it's got really nice looking details. Uh, it really does look like the comic book version of the Mark I armor. So here's the Mark I in all of its glory. As you can see, it's got a nice blue for the arc reactor. And then it's kind of got like this scratched up, sort of rusted out uh, metal look, metal paint job. It looks really nice and comic book accurate. Really cool. For articulation, these three and three quarter inch figures were actually really articulated. So you could like turn the head 360, turn the arms 360, go in and out, bends at the elbow. Uh, you could move the wrist. Then there was also sort of like an ab crunch up here. And then there was like uh, ball jointed hips, I think. So you could go forward and back and side to side. Uh, you could also twist at the hip, bend at the knees, and you could also, you know, swivel at the ankle here go forward and back as well so yeah uh, this figure actually came with a little fire accessory to make it look like he was uh, sort of shooting fire like a flamethrower but uh, I lost that accessory I never really liked keeping the accessories for these toys because uh, I found them really unnecessary and I didn't really like them anyways so uh, these figures were known for coming with these little collector cards or whatever they kind of detailed the uh, figure or the suit itself and it's kind of like the first Iron Man movie where he had them split into parts so as you can see it's got like the torso then you add the legs and then you add the head and the arms and then you get the full suit of armor and uh, yeah it's really cool um, it says right here that you can go to www.ironmancard.com uh, that website never worked for me for some reason, so I never really found out what was going on with that. But, uh, you know, I guess it had something to do with this code, but I never knew because the website never worked. And then you just get a stand, which comes with a little base that you could hold the cards in and a little peg that you could peg your figure on. So, let's do that. And, yeah, that's basically the comic book Mark One suit. Alright, so next up we have the War Machine suit, and if any of you guys remember, in Iron Man 2, Rhodey takes the Mark II suit and basically turns it into this version of War Machine. I guess this is the War Machine Mark I, since he's upgraded his suit a lot of times since, you know, Iron Man 2 came out. But uh, yeah, since I couldn't find the Mark II suit anywhere, uh, I was able to find War Machine. They had a lot of War Machines back then in the store, so I picked up War Machine and I just kind of treated it as the Mark II suit at the time, since that's really what it was. But yeah, as you can see, he's got a lot of details. He's got red eyes and a red arc reactor. He's got like multiple like letters and numbers all over his suit, which is really cool. And here's the back of him. Very nice. And like the movie, you know, he had the little, uh, I guess, shoulder cannon gun thing, which is really cool. 
And for his articulation, it's basically the same. You know, you could turn his head, and if you lift up his little shoulder cover things, you can move his arms all around, bend at the elbow, rotate the wrist. He's got that ab turning, <laughs> whatever. Uh, you know, his legs go forward and back, in and out. Um, I'm not really doing it with these figures because you have to, like, turn it, and it's too much of a hassle to, like, turn it back. So I don't like messing with that. Bends at two points at the knee, and, you know, you could... Move the ankles, so that's really cool. There's that, and once again, he comes with his cards. So there's his torso, and then the legs, and then you got the full. Really cool. Now, uh, his accessory that he came with was actually another gun, which you could plug right here. But it was just really big and really ridiculous since, you know, it had a missile launch feature. But, uh, yeah. That's, I, once again, I got rid of that because I didn't really like it and it wasn't movie accurate. So, yeah. There's that. There it is. And then here's the stand. And you could just put them on there. So that is the War Machine figure. Alright, so the next figure we have here is the Mark III, which is the suit that he used at the end of the first movie, and for a majority of the first movie. Uh, this is really cool looking, as you can see. It's really, really screen accurate. It's got a lot of the details on it. He's got a blue arc reactor and blue eyes. As you can see, just all around, really cool looking figure. I haven't been showing the repulsors. Here's the repulsors, just this nice blue. But uh, yeah, um, once again, it's pretty much the same articulation as the other one, so I'm not going to go over the articulation again. But yeah, that's the figure. And then his cards. There's a torso, legs, and then the full-on cards. Really cool. And then the base, which we've seen already. Uh, this guy's accessory that he came with was sort of like a backpack with like extra boosters. Uh, I thought that was cool, but my sibling, one of my siblings actually lost it. And uh, <laughs> I, I don't know where it went. So yeah, but that's the Mark III. Time to move on to the Mark IV. Okay, so here is the Mark IV armor. Um, oop, sorry, his stand is really loose. Let me see if I can't find those cards that just fell. And they fell even deeper, hang on. So here is one of the first, um, movie 2 suits that he used in Iron Man 2. This is the Mark IV. And once again, you can see that he's got pretty much the same details as the Mark III, almost. So you can see he's got blue in his arc reactor, once again, even on his hand. Really cool looking. So yeah, that is the Mark IV right there. And then his cars, which I had to pick up off the floor. There's the torso, legs. And then his accessory that he came with was actually this blaster right here, which shot a missile. But once again, I lost it since it wasn't movie accurate never had it hence I never needed it and so yeah that is the mark 4 figure and here is the mark 5 probably one of my favorite suits from Iron Man 2 I put his stand right here in the back as you can see his suit is really cool looking this is probably my favorite figure out of all of the figures that I have it's just really nice with the silver and blue. Reminds me a lot of the Silver Centurion armor, which we did eventually get in Iron Man 3. And let me see if I can't get his repulsor showing. There it is. And then his accessory that he came with was actually this little briefcase because this is the briefcase armor. And uh, it's got two holes right here that you can insert missiles and shoot out of it, which I thought was really lame. But... You know, the briefcase itself was actually screen accurate, hence why I still have it. And then you open it up, 
and there's some inner mechanisms right inside there which is really cool you could also I think no I don't know why he can't hold it they should have molded the hands differently so he could hold it but yeah that's the mark 5 and then here are the cards the little blueprint cards let me get that straighter there we go and then there it is just awesome and once again just the base that he comes with but yeah same articulation as all the other figures doesn't want to get in the stand and yeah that is the mark V. And finally, we have the Mark VI armor, which is very similar to the Mark IV armor. Let me get it off its base. But yeah, here is the Mark VI. As you can tell, it is the Mark VI because it's the only one with the triangle repulsor arc reactor. Very cool. Uh, it looks a lot like the Mark IV, actually. Uh, if I can grab the Mark IV real fast, I will show you this, just how similar they are. Here it is. Uh, yeah, it's practically just the chest remolded. Other than that, they're the same figure, and the hands were switched. But, uh, yeah, other than that, it's pretty much the same figure, but, you know, uh, the Mark VI is screen accurate, so I had to get it. And, uh... So here's the cards, there's the chest, with the legs, and then completed. And just like the Mark IV, uh, the Mark VI also came with a blaster, which we all know I lost. And yeah, that's basically it for the Mark VI right there. Alright, so here is my entire Iron Man Hall of Armor 3 and 3 quarter inch collection from the Iron Man 2 movie. As you can see they go really nice together. Uh, really makes a really cool looking Hall of Armor setup. And yeah, that's basically it for these figures. Uh, these were really cool toys. I wish I had gotten my hands on the Mark 2 and the Mark 1 from the actual movie itself. But uh, who knows, maybe I'll be able to find those someday. But uh, I'll, keep, I'll keep looking for those. But yeah, those are the um, Iron Man 2, 3 and 3 quarter inch action figures. I hope you guys enjoyed this little overview video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.